Hello navigation friends, this is John with Alpine Savvy. Today our video is going to cover how to print maps using CalTOPO with the whole enchilada, which is my collection of GPS tracks covering most of the major climbing routes in the Pacific Northwest. Let's get to it. From Alpine Savvy, we're going to go to Navigation Resources, GPS tracks at the top. And this brings you to a series of pages that you need to click through to get to the actual tracks. We want to click these black buttons here, show me the files, go through a disclaimer, please don't be stupid or get lost or get mad at me if you use these tracks and have an epic, that's basically what this says. Take me to the tracks, all right? And this is a page co covers how to actually use some of these and print them in words, pretty much what we're gonna cover in this video. And at the bottom, I got it, let's go to CalTOPO. All right, this opens CalTOPO and the file I call the whole enchilada in a new browser tab. Notice on our map here, we've got what looks like a bunch of gobbledygook, but if we zoom in to the northwest, we can see individual peaks and routes. So that's one way to find where you wanna go if you know where your route is. And looking over here on the left, we have a collection of markers, the red dots at the top. And if we scroll down lines and polygons, the lines are the actual track files that we're gonna see. For our example today, let's have a look at Mount Rainier Disappointment Cleaver. These are in alphabetical order. So let's click on the Rainier DC route on the left and that'll open it on the map on the right. All right, a few things to note here. One, we have several different maps or uh, routes rather on Mount Rainier displayed in the whole enchilada. So that's why we're seeing a few different lines. The purple route here is the DC route, which is one of our areas of interest. In actions at the top, if we click on profile, we can get a terrain profile of the route. We can see mile wise, it's about seven and a half and we've got, ouch, 9,000 foot vertical gain. So that can be helpful to give a general idea of where you are in your route. And also if you slide your mouse along the elevation profile, you can see uh, the corresponding dot sliding along on the route that shows you roughly where the steepness is when you're at that portion of the route. Let's close out of here and get on to printing. Close this window, close this window. So we want to print a map of our GPS track. This is easy in CalTOPO. We go to print, click print to PDF or JPEG. This opens up a new browser tab, which in a moment will generate our print box. Okay, the red box here is the print area at eight and a half by 11 paper and one to 25,000 scale. We can move this box around by grabbing the arrows on the corner and sliding. So let's move that down here to cover the start of our route at Paradise. Let's have a look at the parameters on the left. Paper size, we're gonna stick at eight and a half by 11. Map scale, I like one to 25. I'm gonna leave it there, but you can choose another scale here if you want, or even something custom at the bottom if you prefer. I always like to have a UTM grid printed on my map, so I'm gonna check this box here, which will print a one kilometer UTM grid over the map. And everything else looks pretty good with the exception of the red box does not cover our whole route. We can see the purple line extending here at the top of the box. In CalTOPO, that is no problem. To fix that, we just click the green add page over here on the left and kaboom, that gives us another print box here that we can then slide to cover additional areas of the route or for a long hike, maybe multiple pages. However, this is in portrait mode, and I kind of like this second page to be in landscape to cover a wider part of the top of the mountain. So I'm going to click this little drop down, select landscape. That then moves our box to a left right configuration. I'm going to drag it so it overlaps the first box so we are sure to cover all of the route. And for now, that's looking pretty good. From here, we simply click generate PDF to make a PDF map of where we want to go. Note that this will open another browser tab and can take a couple of minutes, especially when using this particular map layer, Map Builder Topo. So we're gonna take a pause here after I click Generate and come back in a sec. Okay, we are back after a minute or so of map generation. Let's see what we got. We got a third browser tab up here in CalTOPO and we've got a three page map, which may be a little confusing when you know you ordered a two, but one of the cool things that CalTOPO does when printing a multi-page map is it generates the first page, which is kind of a zoomed out larger overview showing you the big picture view of your area with the black boxes indicating the more detailed maps on the following pages. 
you can choose to print this and bring it with you or not. I like to bring it with me for a general bigger picture view of the whole terrain area in addition to the zoomed in pages that we have following. Notice here the map scale 1 to 56,000 almost double the 1 to 25 that we requested. So we scroll down and look at page 2. Uh, now we're getting somewhere. Here is the first page of the map that we specified earlier. Our route is printed here in purple, the DC route. We can get, we've got a one kilometer UTM grid on the border here. That's the blue checkerboard line and the numbers on the side margins. And if we scroll down a bit more, we can see a few things on the bottom. The legend is simple, but it has pretty much everything you need. Ratio scale bar one to 25,000, scale bar in kilometers and miles, magnetic declination chart showing the correct current declination of 15 degrees east, and over here on the left, map datum WGS84 and even the UTM zone. And finally, let's go down and check the second page. Remember, we printed this in a landscape view, so you might have to turn your head sideways. Uh, here's the summit area of Mount Rainier, also showing the waypoint that we had where Camp Muir is. So cool. That's a good looking map that we can use for our trip. We got one more thing to do, and that's download it to our hard drive because it does not do you very much good sitting here on your computer. On my Mac, the way I do that is simple. Right click, do a save as, it dumps it into my downloads folder. CalTopo auto generates a name here, in this case, uh, 701E. That's not too helpful. I'm gonna call this DC Map. Click Save, and boom, that goes down into my downloads folder. And now I can do one of three useful things with it. One, I can print it as a hard copy. Two, I can email it to anyone else on my climbing team so we all have the same map. And three, as a good backup to the printed map, I can email it to myself and get it onto my phone, carry it with me as a free, virtually weightless backup to my paper map. So there you have it. That's how you print out multi-page maps using the whole Enchilada GPX track file provided by Alpine Savvy in the great software CalTopo. Thanks.